Welcome to Electron Line. Now we're going to take a look at the photon from a different perspective in how it creates color in the environment around us and how we see color. So let's say we have the sun over here that looks yellow to us for various reasons. And so the sunlight that finally reaches the earth will of course contain all the various colors of the rainbow from purple to blue to green, yellow, orange, and red. And so why does a stop sign, for example, look red? And why does the ocean seem to look blue? And why does the sky look blue? And all those various reasons. Well, in the case of objects themselves, they look a certain color because of the light that they reflect and the light that they absorb. So sunlight, which contains all the various colors of the rainbow, will be incident on a stop sign like this. And what happens is that the vast majority of the photons actually are absorbed by the, by the sign and only the red light is being reflected. So that's why the stop sign will look red. Now, why do the letters look white? Well, it turns out that the letters are made of a certain paint that reflect all the colors of the rainbow. And of course, when you see all the colors of the rainbow together, then that light will then look white. So white is simply all the colors combined and red is only the red being reflected and the others being absorbed. Now, of course, when sunlight, of course, hits a stop sign, when all, that, all those other photons are absorbed, the stop sign will get very warm, and then, of course, the stop sign would then radiate out that heat in the form of electromagnetic radiation consisting of photons of longer wavelengths. In this case, it would be the infrared wavelengths. And the wavelength of those photons would be equal to 0.0029, which is a constant in Wien's law, divided by the temperature of that stop sign. So as more and more sunlight is incident on the stop sign, and only the red light is, is reflected so that the other colors are absorbed, the stop sign will get warmer and warmer. As it gets warmer, it will continue to give off wavelengths of shorter and shorter wavelengths, carrying away more and more energy from the stop sign until the incident energy of the sunlight equals the the exit energy of the radiation coming off the stop sign. So then the stop sign will reach an equilibrium point in temperature so that the incident energy and the exit energy is equal to each other. But the reason why the sign looks red is because it's only the red photons are being reflected and all the other photons are being absorbed. Again, photons is what allows us to see color in the selectivity of which photons are absorbed and which photons are reflected. And the reflective photons is the color that we end up seeing. And that's how that works.